when the invoice price is given, you have to calculate the stock reason. A is the consignor and B is the consignee. A is residing in Bangalore and B is residing in Mysore. 16,000 to 40, difference is 4,060. This considered as abnormal loss. If the credit side is more than the debit side, whatever the difference comes, that is the profit that goes to consignor. Hello my dear student, I am Dr. B.S. Subramanya, called by name Dr. B.S.S., Professor in Commerce and Management, Vidyashram First Rate College at Temple of Excellence, Mysuru. Today, in this session, I am going to have Financial Accounting 1, First Semester, Unit 3, Session 3, in favor of Accounting for Consignment Transaction. What do you mean that? Accounting for consignment transaction. In the last session, I explained what is consignment. Consignment is an agreement between the two parties. One is the consignor, another is the consignee. Consignor is the owner, consignee is the agent. The agent will sell the goods on behalf of the consignor at the risk of the consignor. So, we'll move on to problem now. A of Bangalore consign 2,000 vehicles to his agent B of Mysore at a cost of 200, but invoice price rupees 220, the expenses of consignee 4,000 for insurance and 2,000 for carrier, totally 6,000 are indirect expenditure on purchase during transit. 100 vehicles were damaged and the insurance company paid 80%. The expense of consignee unloading 1000, which is indirect, packing 1500 is also indirect expenditure. Advertisement should not be taken. He sold 1600 vehicle. He sold 1600 vehicle at rupee 400 per vehicle and commission at 10 percent, advance given by consignee 60,000. Repay, consignment account, consignee account, abnormal loss account, goods sent on consignment account. So, A is the consignor and B is the consignee. A is residing in Bangalore and B is residing in Mysore. We calculate how many vehicle damage, here 100 vehicle, cost of 100 vehicle, 100 into 200 cost price, it is with the consignor because not at retail consignee, you have to take the cost price, how many cost is 200, see that cost is 200, how many vehicle 100, it works out 20,000 and non-recurring expenses of the consignor, both are non-recurring expenses, here one is uh, in the my space, expense of the consignor, insurance 4,000 plus 2,000, 6,000 for how many vehicle? 2,000, V1 for 100, it works out 300, it become 20,300, total loss, minus received from insurance company 16,000, 80% of that. 20,300 into 80 divided by 100, 16,240, this is 20,300 into 80 divided by 100. It works out 16,240, difference is 4060, this considered as abnormal loss. So, totally how many vehicle lost? 100. Each vehicle cost 200. It becomes 20,000. Add non recurring expenses 300. It becomes 20,300 minus receipt from insurance company 16,240. Abnormal loss is 4060. We'll move on. Calculation of closing stock. Total vehicle consigned
total vehicle consigned is 2000 minus vehicle last 100 it is 1900 minus vehicle sold 1600 unsold is 300 so that's a unit how many vehicle last total vehicle consigned 2000 how many vehicle last 100 how much left over 1900 how many vehicles sold 1600 unsold is 300 this is units now now in case of rupees value value of 300 vehicle each vehicle cost two because now it is going to value by consignee 300 into 20 is 66,000 add you have to take the expense of consignor as well as the consignee expense of consignor 2000 vehicle 6000 you want per 300 900 expense of consignee out of that 100 vehicle last how many vehicle reach 1900 expenditure is 2500 you want per 300 395 so total value of closing stock 67,295. One working note now. Sale 1,600 vehicle at rupees 400, 6 lakh 40 thousand. Commission on that 10 percent, 6 lakh 40 into 10 by 100, it is 64,000. Now, when the invoice price is given, you have to calculate the stock reserve. Stock reserve are loading on goods sent to 2020, 2000 into 20 is 4000. This is 200, 2000. How much more? 20 for opening, unloading 326,000. This is 40,000. This is 6000. Good sent on consignment account. How many vehicles sent? 2000. At what rate 220, it comes to 4,40,000 is good sent at invoice. Then expenses of the consignor, two bank account, expense of consignor, insurance 4,000, carrier purchase 2,000, totally 6,000. Two base account expenses, unloading 1,000, packing 1,500, advertisement 3,000, totally it works out. 5,500 is the expense of the consignee. This is the expense of consignor. This is the expense of the consignee. Come back here. By base account sales, 6,40,000. By closing stock workout as per the working note, 67,295. It's abnormal loss also workout. Total loss is 20,300. Stock reserve on goods sent, you already work out 40,000. So, if the credit side is more than the debit side, whatever the difference comes, that is the profit that goes to consignor. So, goods sent on consignment account, how many vehicle? 2,000 vehicle at what rate? 220, it will work out 440,000 goods sent at invoice price. This is the expense of the consignor. This is the expense of consignee. This is the commission of the consignee. This is the sales made by consignee. This is the closing stock. This is the abnormal loss. This is the stock reserve on good side. If the credit side is more than the debit side, the difference is called net profit that goes to consignor. Then. Come back to consignee account, two consignment account sales, 6,40,000. So the entire amount, 6,40,000 lies with the consignee. Out of his sales amount, he will deduct his advance, he will deduct his expenditure, he will deduct his commission. The balance will be sent by consignee to consignor. What is the total sales? 6,40,000. Out of that, advance is 60,000. Expenses is 5,500, commission is 64,000, the balance left over 510,500. This will be sent by consignee to consignor in the form of a check. Then, abnormal loss. The total loss as per the working note is 20,300. 
out of that how much insurance company pays 80% 16,240. How much is irrecoverable transfer to PNL account? 4,060. It's already worked out. What is the total loss? 20,300. How much recovered? 16,240. How much PNL account? 4,060. Then, goods sent on consignment account. Goods sent at invoice price? 4,40,000 which includes the loading, 40,000 rupees. The difference is 4 lakh real. This goes to trading account. Totally 4 lakh 40. How much excess is there? 40,000 rupees. How much left over? 4 lakh, which goes to trading account. Hope you understand. Very, very, very simple. Only thing, no. When the invoice price is given, you have to calculate loading, one non goods sent, one non close account. Goods sent comes here. Stock reserve will come in the trade side. So closing stock of the invoice comes credit side. Stock reserve will come the debit side. How it will be? Goods sent on consignment. Invoice price will come on the debit side. Stock reserve will come on the credit side. Closing stock at invoice price will come on the credit side. Stock reserve comes here. So while you are calculating the abnormal loss, only consign or expenditure should be taken into consideration because the goods is not a treat to consigning. While calculating the closing stock, we have to take the expense of the consignor, expense of the consignee. Both expenses should be taken into Only non-recurring expenses like carriage, freight, insurance. This type of expenditure should be called, it's called non-recurring expenses should be taken. The expenditure like this recurring salary, advertisement, salesman commission and general expenditure, electricity, so those every expenditure should not be considered. Hope, understand. So we have solved all type of problem. Only invoice price problem will be given in the examination. If the invoice price is not given, stock reserve won't come. Other things remain the same. Hope we'll meet in the next session with what's called unit 4. Right. Till then, goodbye.